Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to another Stormworks tutorial. Uh, in this one, we're gonna be doing some cooling to our engine. Uh, last tutorial, we did a basic engine build. Uh, we're gonna jump back into that build and we're gonna try to cool this thing down uh, a lot. Uh, so let's not waste any more time. Uh, go ahead and throw a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's go ahead and jump into the workbench. Over there. All right, so if you're just joining us from our last tutorial, uh, you might recognize this. Uh, I have changed a few things here. Uh, for one, we've made our exhaust pipe go straight up uh, and we've added a catalytic converter to reduce smoke while we test here. Uh, I've also flipped up the radiator here. It was flat. Uh, I don't wanna, I'm just gonna remove all variables from this, this cooling test here that we're gonna do. Other than that, uh, the engine still runs. We can crank it up here and show you that. Uh, we, are, we are cranking away here. Uh, I have already tested it. Uh, we do max out at 103 degrees here. Uh, so we're looking for some sort of substantial amount of cooling today on this. Uh, so let's go ahead and not waste any more time and let's jump in and let's start building this. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, copy what we got here and just kind of move it over. Uh, this is already working. Why, uh, why rebuild it, right? Uh, so we'll copy that. Let's, uh, let's move this over. That way we can test these side by side. Uh, that looks pretty good. We'll paste that. We'll merge that. And you know what? we'll give it a few more blocks here just to make it look nice and neat. Uh, so we're going to need to get rid of that. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. We didn't copy all of it. Uh, let's copy the rest of it, and then we'll get back to back to doing what we're supposed to be doing here. All right. So that should be good here. All right. We'll grab a, uh, grab a radiator here. I'm going to try to make this compact, you guys. Uh, you can use this in your builds and actually see how it would work, you know, rather than just kind of build it kind of splayed out here. I think we can build it like this. Maybe we can do our radiators back to back. This will work. Um, I have tested this. I know this will work. Even though they're back to back, we will get some serious cooling out of this. And now if you spaced them out, I'm sure you might get something better. Uh, let's see. We're also going to need a fluid to fluid. Uh, fluid to fluid. Where are you? This guy right here. We're gonna plop that down right on top. You're gonna want the imports uh, right down here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves, uh, where are they? Some pumps. Uh, we're gonna need two pumps here. Uh, this is gonna move liquid through our system a lot faster. Uh, we're gonna do one there and one there. And these are the outs. Uh, yep, those are the outs, okay. Already seeing a problem here. I'm gonna need to raise this up a little bit. Uh, so let's do that. Come here and grab this, grab all of this. Is that all of it? Nope, that's not all of it. Let's get the rest of it. All right, we're gonna cut that, move this up one, paste it. Uh, we'll need a block in here to get this to merge. Now we can get rid of that. Okay, so coming out of our engine, let's see, this should be our out here. That's in, that's out. Okay, so these are gonna cross here. All right, out needs to come into this one here into this pump. So what we wanna do is we wanna pull the liquid out of the engine that's super hot. We wanna pull it out as quick as we can and get it into this heat exchanger here. Uh, once it goes into the heat exchanger, it will then go through a secondary radiator system, uh, cooling it off. Uh, but the main thing is to get our first set kinda of going here. So we're gonna pull liquid out of our radiator or out of our engine as quick as we can, get it going through our radiator, and from there, we just go straight back into the engine. Uh, we don't want to pump on the other side. Uh, if we had a pump on the other side pushing it back into the engine, we'd be pulling hot liquids back into the engine uh, before they had a chance to even cool off more. So that's kind of the purpose of this. So let's go ahead and grab some pipes. Uh, we're going to come out of our out here. You know, let's make this a little neater. Go down first. Same thing here. We'll get that one ready for a pipe. There we go. Get our straight piece here. I'm out, grab that guy, over. Think here, do this guy here. We'll do a, a corner piece. Go ahead and throw a corner piece on. Let's see if I can get to where I can see it. There we go. Do a corner piece here. I'll go ahead and throw one here just for ease of not having to do it again. If I can get to it. There we go. All right, so straight piece, boom, boom, boom. All right, so that goes into here, into our pump. Whoops 
into our heat exchanger here. This is gonna come out of the heat exchanger and into our radiator. All right, from our radiator, we're gonna come straight out. You know, honestly, we didn't need to do that. We can go like that. We're gonna come out of our radiator and go straight back into our engines. And now our first coolant system is set up. Uh, you could run this, 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 this would work. Uh, but we're gonna keep going here. Uh, so we're gonna add another one there. Same thing here. So now the coolant that's over here that's hot is gonna be running through this system that has flow. And this pump is gonna provide flow into the radiator. It's gonna come out of the radiator. Come back underneath and get in here. Here we go. Now I'm gonna grab a tank. I don't think this is really necessary, but I like the idea of knowing that uh, there's a little bit of water here sitting and we do need to change it to water. I'll bring it down to 90 to give it a little bit of slosh, slosh room, so to speak. Uh, and then that gives it a little bit more time to kind of sit in here in this system as it goes through. Now, let's see, we do need some power on these items here, but this should be done. Uh, we should be able to get some flow through here and we'll, we'll uh, test this out and see what's going on here. Uh, so let's see, that's a pressed. Uh, we need an on, let's get a constant on here just for these pumps. Uh, you could add this as a switch into your console here, but we'll just make that work right away. And we got temps, temps, and tank contents. And we're good to go. Uh, electricity, 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 electricity. Let's do that. All right, let's spawn it in. All right, let's go ahead and get the throttle up on our first engine here. We're gonna crank that one up, get that one going, get the temp going up on this one. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this one. All right, so we're gonna let these run for a little bit and we're gonna see what kind of difference we get out of these two systems here. All right, so these engines have been running for a while. Uh, let's go ahead and look at our temps here real quick. All right, so we're at about 103. Uh, this is 103 Celsius, uh, remember. Uh, so that's that's pretty hot. We're already above boiling here. Boiling is 100. Uh, that's 212 Fahrenheit, roughly. So that's that's pretty hot inside this uh, inside this engine. Let's come over here and check this one out. 79, 79. So we've knocked off 21 degrees Celsius from this from this system. So yeah, that's not bad. Uh, that's not bad. I'm sure we can get, knock it off a little bit more. Um, I'm sure there's some there's some ways to uh, to break this down. But yeah, that uh, that is not bad right there. Uh, we are we are kind of super cool in our engine here. Um, we could probably move a little further and probably cool the air down, get rid of the exhaust a little quicker, uh, really make this engine quite efficient. Uh, but for now, I think that's gonna do it, uh, guys. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope this helps you out in your builds. Hope you, you know, maybe you can run your engines a little harder. Uh, don't don't you worry about uh, things exploding so much. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've learned something. And we'll see you in the next one.